This video will be the basics of a touch sensor, with the sensor used in a basic program, in a loop, and in a switch program. The following is an example for using the touch sensor in a basic program to give you an idea of how it works. To begin, in this program add a drive block, then change the settings of this drive block to on, which will make the robot drive unlimited or continuously. Then add a weight block and, as seen here, select touch sensor, compare, state. This will activate the touch sensor. Finally, add an ending block that will be activated when the touch sensor is. In this example, we place the stop by adding a drive block and then changing it to off. Now this block will drive unlimited or continuously until the touch sensor is pressed. Then it will stop. Remember, you can change this last block to be whatever you'd like. In this example of using a loop with the touch sensor, the robot will run the program within the loop until the touch sensor is pressed. This uses the touch sensor in a switch. If the touch sensor is activated, then this programming will be run. Or, if the touch sensor is not activated, then this section of programming will run. Remember to have the correct port selected here that you have your touch sensor plugged into on your robot. The sensors use the numbered ports. So if your touch sensor is plugged into port 1 on your robot, select port 1 here. And that's it! There's your introduction to touch sensors. Next video will be all about color sensors. Good luck programming!